What is going on, YouTube family? Been getting a lot of talk and feedback about the uh, show another video how to put linseed, how I put linseed oil, oral on. And uh, you boiled linseed oil, not boiled. It doesn't make any difference if it's boiled or not. It all coagulates. And it's very hard to get the cap off of. But if you look around the bottle, you can see how it coagulates. Okay? That's going to run down into this open green rosewood. And I'm going to wipe the majority of it away but it's still it's going to run down in there and coagulate it's going to seal that grain from the outer elements it will last you know eventually it'll wear off but it'll last a good long time before it does and protect a very long time uh, some people were concerned about it collecting dust. No, it's not going to collect dust once it's dry. And as I say that, a piece of dust lands right in it. <laughs> What's the chances? Try to get up close to the frets as you can possibly get. And there again, it's like sanding fret boards. I always want to sand across the grain instead of with the grain when it comes to fret boards. It's actually easier for one thing, but for another thing, it allows some of that sanding dust to get down into those open grains. You know, fills them with something to keep the elements out. But uh, that's where that's this oil's job. It's what it does best and does it very well, I might add. But yeah, I don't like. Uh, Martin recommends on their YouTube channel, you can look it up. Martin recommends you use 3-in-1 oil for this. I never did do that, but if Martin says it's okay, then it's probably okay. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of different products you can buy that uh, probably are not very good. That's why I don't recommend any of them. I recommend this linseed oil. Now I'm going to leave that on there for like three to five minutes. And then I'm going to take another clean paper towel. And again, rub it across the grain. Because if I rub it along the grain, I'm just going to wipe it out of the grain. If I rub it across, it's going to, you know, just smooth it over. And leave it what goes in the grain and leave it in there, the majority of it. So, uh, same, like I say, with sanding, you know, on, on uh, fretboards, if you're wanting to fill the grain with something, what better thing to fill it with than the, the dust it's made of? Hold on. I'm gonna let this set three to five minutes and I'll bring you back and we'll finish this. Okay, we're back. It's been about five minutes now. By the way, this came up several times. I just wanted to read it to you right off the bottle. Caution. It says caution right here. Cloths used for oiling may spontaneously combust. Burn the cotton cloth after use. Or if this is not possible, wash it with warm soapy water before disposing. That's a little hard to swallow. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that or not, but that's what the bottle says. I know it came up on my Patreon site. Uh, someone said it was bullshit, and it is, I agree. But, you know, I didn't write the bottle. That's, it. that's what the bottle says, man. <laughs> so, anyways. And yes, I did remember to get the bridge while I was uh, had the camera turned off. And there again, like I say, you want to... You want to rub this across the grain, not with it. Because if you rub it with the grain, you you know, a good chance you're going to rub it right out of the grain. It's important to get up as close to the frets as you possibly can get. And, uh, you know, rub it down pretty good, but leave a pretty good coat on there, too. You don't need to do this much more than once, twice at most per year is plenty. 
And uh, a lot of guys are telling me they what they've gone for 30 years and never did this and never bored, never cried. Well, you've been very lucky, my friend. You've been very lucky if you have never conditioned your fretboard and never had any cracks in it or chips. This helps a whole lot when you, uh, if you ever have to pull the frets out, it eliminates chipping a lot because this not only seals out elements from getting into that open grain, it seals, a rosewood's a very oily wood anyway, so this helps seal that oil in the wood, the natural wood's oils, seals it into the wood better. And it will last longer. I guarantee it. I promise. You have my promise on that. Are we recording? That damn thing's been acting kind of funky. <laughs> you about like it to break down just as soon as we get Patreon going. I've got four cameras. So I'll have a backup until I can get... A replacement. I use them all four too. All four of them for your viewing pleasure. And there we go. You want to rub across the wood grain when you do this. Of course, it may be a little bit hard to do on the edges like this, but do the best you can. No one will ask any more of you than that, or shouldn't. Spontaneous combust, combustion. That is a wild thought. Now check that fretboard out. It looks freaking brand new, man. I already polished these frets, by the way. Use the old faithful. Happich semi-chrome polish. I told you about that stuff in other videos. It's miracle salve. You can literally use it for about anything on guitars. Very good product. I don't endorse them or even know them. I just like the product. So there you go. That's the way I put linseed on and take it off. And I can see it. It spilled those grains. It's Cleaned the fretboard, it looks much better. And uh, well, it looks a lot better since I polished the frets too. They were tarnished terribly. But uh, that's the way I do it, folks. I don't know any other way really to tell you to do it. Put it on, wait five minutes or so, three to five minutes, rub it off, rub across the grain, not with it, and oil your bridge. Always oil your bridge if it's rosewood or ebony. Give it a drink of oil. Now, Normally what I do with these combustible towels is soak them in water, rinse them out, soak them, and throw them away as they're soaked. I mean, what's the chance of that spontaneously combusting, you know? But, uh, I don't know if you'll ever be able to see this, but right there it is. You can pause the video if you want and read all this crap. If you don't believe me, there it is. That's, that's just crazy, man. Cheers. I hope this helps, and I will see your ass soon. Let me show you this before we go. Someone changed these keys probably to put shorter pegs on here, okay? See how short the pegs are? So they could crank it down, get more down pressure on the nut. I'm thinking why. Those keys were on this guitar when I got it, but look, look at the shit they put on there. What is that? It's around every key. Can you see it? It's almost built up like snot. What the hell is wrong with people, man? I'm going to get you a good shot with these wicked lenses. The stupid camera ever focuses. Yeah, I think you can see that okay. Check that out, man. Whatever that crap is, it's built up on every key. 
Maybe I can get a better shot of it from this side. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> Man, that's just horrendous. There, yeah, look at that. It's got bubbles in it even. Whatever it is, it's got tiny bubbles in it. It looks like they painted over those rings with something to hold the rings on there, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Holy shit, that's bad. Cheers!